Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. A few months ago, Sansi sent me their 100 watt LED floodlight. Shot a bunch of video of the unboxing and test on it. Unintentionally deleted that video. Sansi, if you're watching, my apologies. So I'm going to show what I can. I've got it set up and used now. I still have the box that, that came in. So there's the user manual and some uh, hanging attachments. Yeah, which I don't need the way I'm, I've, I've got rope hangers for mine, so I don't need those. But I'm using it as a grow light, but it is, it's not intended to be used as a grow light. It's more of a utility light. I had pretty good success with their 50 watt version so right here. And so I'm going to show you the 100 watt version of this. It's the same kind of design, same kind of lights. Here's the top view. And I've got some rope hangers just sort of hanging from the ceiling. That way I can adjust the height. So we got this um, rocker switch here and it's got a protective plastic thing, I guess, to keep uh, water out. And I've got it over this overwintered Kangstar Lemon Starburst. And this is about, it's going on its third year. I pruned it way back and all of this is new growth. It had been under the 50 watt light and then just about a week ago, Put the 100 watt over it and raise the height quite a bit because um, it's pretty intense. You can see all the new growth on that. This was just branches with just a few leaves not too long ago. I need to give it some more nutrients. And also doused it with pyrethrin as a preventive for aphids. That's why there's a little bit of the leaf curl going on. They kind of reacted to that. They didn't have that originally. It should, out, it should grow out of that. There's a nice little trunk on that. This is a, just a self-watering container. Anyway, let me turn this on. You can see these are pretty bright. And I don't remember exactly. I did a power test when I first unboxed it, but it was around, it wasn't a 400 watts. Uh, I think the power draw was around 70, 75 watts. But I'll do another test later on the follow-up video and mention what it what it actually is. And also I need to do some par readings. Yeah, so I'm going to let this go. This is way more light than an overwinter needs just to get through until the next season. But I might actually get some fruits on this. It's got some little bud sites already showing up. So um, I'll let it go and I'll do an update in about 30 days or so. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like that, please like, comment, and subscribe.